yeah, well, I think today we just didn't make many mistakes. Uh, we got pretty solid starts and sailed the boat really well around the racetrack. And, you know, I think you could count the mistakes we made on one hand, which is, uh, you know, pretty unusual in our sport. And, uh, you know, we're really, really happy that the improvements we made from, from last week and, um, yeah, excited about the rest of the season. <laughs> I think we've been talking for a long time that, you know, prior to... Um, Plymouth that we felt like we were sailing a lot better than the results were showing and just one bad race was leading us down and you would missed the finals but you know to be able to put together two solid events now and, you know still feel like we've got plenty to improve on plenty to work on you know we definitely had a few issues out there today but you know to be uh, able to have a few issues and, and sail like that and still get some pretty solid results is something that's pretty pleasing. Oh incredible you can't get over the feeling and it's it's just been such a cool journey as a team and so it just feels so good. I don't know if it was the most challenging, but the most exciting. Like I'd done a lot of work between events, uh, working on comms, and yeah, it was a pretty tricky day, obviously. So it was good to execute that, and yeah, it was definitely a big challenge. But the team did really well all round. Uh, the last fleet race was a battle. It just felt like everyone was out to get us a bit. Uh, unfortunately, we got caught up with the French who uh, knew they had to get some points in between us. And then when we sort of felt like we were getting clear of them, uh, the Kiwis who probably don't want to see us in that final race joined the fray and got a penalty on us. Uh, yeah, it just felt like we were fighting everyone from every angle out there. So um, yeah, well done to them. They, they did a good job and they sent us back in the fleet and held us out. And in hindsight, I'd love to say that um, only having one day, not two, uh, hurt us a bit, but we know the deal. We knew it was one day. We knew we had to perform today and um, we didn't quite get there. So on to the next one. Fortunately, it's a quick turnaround and I don't have to think about this one too much and uh, can try to get some revenge next time. Well, look, we had uh, we had one good race, and I thought we had a couple of good recoveries. Probably the biggest issue today was we, we had a very difficult time getting the Mark One in decent shape, and you know it was just really fast and action-packed racing. So um, yeah, we could have done better for sure, but at the end of the day, it was um, you know we got what we deserved. So I think the levels clearly gone up. Um, I mean, the Kiwis were really the standout. I mean, you'd have to say after the last two events, they're the, probably the benchmark team. Uh, but for the rest of the fleet, it's yeah, it's definitely evening out. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty a difficult day, I'd say a bit of a character building day, but um, yeah, we just didn't get off the line at all in any of the races and sort of stuck in the pack and yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a tricky race track when you're a bit stuck back there, so yeah, we, we struggled and yeah, a bit disappointed and it wasn't, wasn't a very lovely day.
Uh, I think it's easy to regroup from that. You know, there's some areas that we really improved on this week of, of sailing, and you know, every minute you get in the F50 is valuable for a team like us who is, I guess, new on the block. And yeah, we had a lot of learning this week, this week here in the training and racing as well. And yeah, we'll, we'll take that into Saint Tropez and hopefully come off the line a little better and, and be back to our normal selves.